Welcome to Omni's Eat. My <laughs> name's Neil. Nick! Okay. I'm Jessica. And I'm John. And we're gonna be trying ravioli today. We got the soy boy, we got the kite hill, we got the light life. We got a whole bunch of flavors. We got the normal tofu filling of soy boy. We got the garden herb and tofu filling of soy boy. We got mushroom and ricotta from the kite hill. We got uh, spinach and ricotta from the kite hill. We got uh, wild mushroom and veggie sausage. We're gonna fry these up, babies up, and we're gonna eat the. Uh, we're gonna eat them. Okay. Yeah. So the soy boys are Ooh. made with tofu. The kite hills are made with almond milk ricotta. And then what are these ones made with? So the soy. this one is made with uh, portobello. This is this is a mushroom filling, and this is a vegan sausage filling. So we've got a variety of fillings in these raviolis. We're gonna fry just a couple of them up, or I'm not sure, we haven't looked at the cooking directions yet. We're gonna look at the cooking directions and we're gonna cook some of these up. These are um, and we will be back in just a moment to let you know our thoughts on vegan ravioli. Welcome, Welcome back to Omni's Eat. We cooked the ravioli, now we're gonna uh, eat, eat the ravioli. It. We had some issues. We did. The one soy boy exploded. The soy boy uh, garden herb and tofu split open, and we also had some kite hill ones that stuck together. The spinach and ricotta, right? Yes. They stuck together, and when they cooked, they just like disintegrated in the water. So um, it was not good. We went through a couple of extra ones of the uh, kite hill spinach ricotta, but All right. we're gonna go ahead and start with the deliciously seasoned tofu filling, which is this one right here from Soy Boy. So Nick and I are gonna split this. We only made three raviolis of each flavor. Um, Come on. Come on. We didn't want to make too much because I think these are gonna be a little bit filling. So yeah. that's not bad. I'm pretty okay. That would taste. Uh, uh, you throw a little bit of uh, so, uh, sauce on there. Sitting? like spaghetti sauce, and it would taste just like ricotta. Actually, that's really good. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a, like a nine out of 10. If I am if I was picking up a cheese ravioli, I, I wouldn't know the difference between a cheese ravioli and that ravioli. Yeah. That was really good, and I did not expect that at all. I think it's pretty okay. I'm gonna give it a, give it a six out of 10. I think it's definitely, you know, prepared with sauce would definitely been pretty good. That was pretty good. Nick, you're shaking your head what over there. What do you there. think of that one? It's kind of bland. It is so bland, but ravioli is pretty four. bland. Four. Four. Nice job, buddy. I All love right. the way you use bland there, though. Um, I'm gonna give it a. a bland thing. I, I'm only. Uh, I, I sort of agree with Nick. Um, I'm gonna give it a five, though. A little higher. Okay. Uh, it's it's. You still what agree I with me with the bland? I do. I agree with your assessment. Of bland. All right, the next one, which Neil is already digging into, is the garden okay. herb and tofu. I guess Neil's just uh, soy boy. I'm gonna take the one that exploded. I guess. And Neil these, likes the biggest problem that we had with mm. these ones was mm. that I'm taking them. No, I'm taking them. Um, is that they they were cracked open. Yeah, so when, uh, when we opened the container, yeah, they were already cracked. So I'm surprised they didn't burst open more than what they did. Uh, it's sweet. That's pretty good, actually. I really enjoy that. I think that would do very well. You know, you're talking about sauce with the last one. Yeah. I think that would do very well with the uh, with the uh, um. It's got a whole lot of flavor. A whole good bit of flavor. I think do well in like a uh, kind of a fake meat mixture sauce. And definitely add a little bit of flavor to everything else. I'm gonna give that. Um, I'm gonna give this a reverse soy boy six. I'm gonna give that a seven. I think that's a little step higher. And, in terms of direction for me, um, I would have liked to see a little, maybe a little more for flavoring from the garland, garden herb, but you know, not too terrible for me. Also, not to explode, but yeah. what do you think, Nick? It's a little sweet. It is a little bit sweet. I agree. Uh, did you not like four. that? Four. Four. Did, did you not like the sweetness? Do not like the sweet. Uh -huh. So it, it definitely has a lot more flavor. I will agree with my counterparts to my left. You're right. Um, they are definitely, it is definitely more flavorful, um, but with that, it's very herby and it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna go down to a five just because I personally don't like it. As far as the texture goes, I think the texture is the same. 
Um, if you like a more flavorful, herby type flavor, you're probably gonna like that. So for me, it's a five, but for other people, and I'm assuming, you know, the people to my left here are gonna like and it people better. So to I'm the right. Seven. Yeah. I'm giving it a six. Uh, oh. I agree with Neil. I thought you guys would like it more than that. Um, I would like to see a little more garlic, actually. Garlic? A little more That'd garlic. Yeah. yeah. A little more garlic in terms of the garden herb. If a little more garlic, it would add a lot, a little bit more flavor to the filling. Uh, it would have raised it, I think, for me. Yeah. The, the other that thing that's pro too. a problem with having like me try too. ravioli is raviolis aren't necessarily my favorite. They weren't my favorite non-vegan pasta. They're not my favorite. I, I, it would be. They're gonna. It has to overcome. Uh, you know, a lot for yeah. me to say that I actually like it. So the fact that I gave it a six. I like it. Means it. you like it. I did. All right. Next one is the Kite Hill mushroom and ricotta. And I do not like mushrooms, so I do not like this. Well, you didn't try it yet, buddy. Well, it's with mushrooms. Okay. So do not question me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't question them. Don't question. Hmm. This one. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. I'm getting a very small bite because I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> uh, that'd be good for you. That'd be good for you. Um, I, I'm not gonna eat the rest of that one. Uh, he is. Okay, I guess Neil does not like that. In terms of a ravioli texture, it's superb. I think it's fantastic. The shell, the outer shelling, it very much replicates ravioli practically perfectly for me. I, I would agree, the, the shell is very good. The inside, yeah. you gotta like mushroom. Yeah. For me, it, it, I think with sauce, I would have liked it a lot better. Cause yeah, it would hide like, it. Because the like I, some kind of I like think uh, or that sauce. or it would have blended it or it would have blended better as a taste. For me, straight up mushroom. I've never liked mushroom just straight up. You know. So for me, it, it, it suffers in that department. So I'm probably gonna give it a five. I'm gonna give it a five. Because I think it has a, I think it has a very good possibility of completely being, it, it completely can fool somebody in being a regular ravioli. But the taste in general does not agree with me in terms of just taste. So I, I'm giving it a solid five because I think it, it's definitely can, it's definitely really good, but not taste wise for me. Okay, what do you think, Nick? Two, two. You don't you like, like mushrooms? mushrooms? You said you would like it better with sauce, though. Yes, like yeah. some like tomato sauce or marinara sauce. I'm not a fan of mushrooms, so but I I agree with Neil where he was talking about the pasta being super good, like the the actual shell of the ravioli. I agree, the ravi ravioli shell is very tasty. So I'm gonna go along with Neil and say a five as well. I'm going eight. I love mushrooms. I love them. I it's like almost that. a nine like because I'll be honest with you. That's like how much I like mushrooms. Now in comparison, uh, I could give a crap about the shell. The filling tastes delicious. <laughs> I, I crap about the shell. I, well, I just, it's the truth. I love that mushroom flavor. It was delicious. Tastes almost oh, like sorry. a portobello. It's good, delicious. All right. All right. Now it's on to the, the next spinach. one is spinach and ricotta from Kite Hill. Nick already had his piece. So Nick. Solid zero. What? Wow. I think that wow. tastes amazing. That's pretty good, actually. If I if I was eating higher carb, holy crap. I would absolutely eat that again. Um, it it tastes extremely good. Neil was saying about garlic in the garden herb one earlier. This one has garlic in it, Ooh. and it is what? very very good. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Oh, I'm gonna give that a ten out of ten. That is fantastic. That's fantastic to me. The blend of spinach and garlic. It, it, with that shell, it, it's almost like a perfect ravioli to me. It com it, it would completely fool me. It, if it was like, like a gar, it was like let's say a garden ravioli dish, like a gar, like let yeah, it's just like a garden ravioli dish and regular pasta sauce. I would be fooled that it's a completely fine dish, and I would eat it to completely. You up. mean a completely non-vegan? Yeah, this is, I would. I wouldn't know if it was, it was if it was a. Tra I would think it's a traditional dish. Because that would completely fool me, and that was just delicious to me. In terms, so that's a ten out of ten for me. I agree with them. The problem is, is that I had the best tasting ravioli before this. So this is at best a five, maybe a six. Because <laughs> um, remember, I give a damn about the shell. Um, 
So the inside's okay. I mean, it's your traditional. It's it's a it's a good ravioli. It's a it's, five, it's a six. All right, so we've got the light life last, and the first flavor is what? This one is this the, the wild mushroom. Mushroom oh, and no. anything else? Just oh, wild, wild mushroom? No, oh, wild mushroom. No. Oh no. This well, is poor not going to be um, good. Poor I can't show. Poor this is not going to be good, right? Okay. Mom? There you go. This is not going to be good. Good times. It's for mushrooms. Yeah. Honestly, um. I'm gonna give that a three out of ten. I don't like that one. I'm gonna go with that. I think actually, to me, <laughs> it doesn't have as good as a flavor of mushroom as the kaidel. Oh no! <laughs> I actually think the kaidel did a better job yes. of creating a mushroom flavor than light life. So I'm just gonna stick with a three two. I'm gonna stick with a three two. That's. What do you think? <sighs> six, I guess. Six. That it's one you less, like? It's less mushroomy than the kaidel. I guess. More salty. Yeah, I agree, Nick. Salty. It has a very salty. Flavor. Uh, meaty, uh, dense flavor. Um, it's a little overpowering. That's why I think that um, like the mushroom flavor is so, it's, it's very salty. I should, actually, that's the way I should stick with it. It's, it's, a, it's a salty taste. Okay. Um, salty. It's not as good as the uh, Kite Hill mushroom because um, that was delish. Uh, I'm probably going to give this a, a six. Okay. And our last one is the sausage. only fake meat one. It's the sausage. A vegan sausage, right? Veggie yeah. sausage raviolis. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me down. I can eat it. Right. Look, I see sausage in there. And there's red pepper in this one. I'm gonna give this one. Uh, I think this one's seven. I think it's all right. Um, I think sausage does is all right. It's not a, a, it's not it's not like you know. It's just all right. I'd give it a seven just because I think it uh, it do well in sauce. Um, yeah, that I think it do well in sauce. That. It's not overly salty. Like the mushroom one, mm. you know. I think the sausage does well to communicate with the t with the tongue in terms of taste, but it's all right. Seven out of ten. I'm gonna go four out of ten. I don't like the flavor of that one. That's all I have to say about that. Probably eight. You like it? Eight. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with Jessica. That's a four for me. Um, there's a there's a, almost like a processed flavor that I got out of mine that just it just. It, after you got through the shell, it was just sort of this thing that laid on my tongue, and it, it just, it just, it wasn't, it didn't that taste like sausage to me. It, it, it almost was a little more like the uh, soy boy, the vegetable, the vegetable one, or the zesty, the garden, the garden herb. herb, the garden herb to me, um, but not as good. So uh, it's it's a four. All right, so this so, is the Nami's eat. Yeah. Um, we've gone through all of them. I think all of us kind of have a different opinion in terms of, you know. Well, I, by far, I think the best brand. I think Kite Hill is yeah. probably the best, br best brand. I, you um, know, yeah. Um, whether you like mushrooms or you like Woo! spinach and garlic, pretty much. They, they, um, they did a good, well, a good job in terms of communicating um, the shell and also taste, I think. Yeah. So, overall, you know. Well, support all Definitely these. Definitely recommend Su the Kaito. Support all of these. And the Soy Boy. And, 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 and soy Boy's a good second. Yeah, and go yeah, go and taste all of them. Whichever one tickles your fancy. Mm -hmm. um, this has been Omni Z. Hit the like button down below if you like the video. Comment down below if you've tried any of them. Um, and tell us your opinions on them and what you would grade them. And if you had any different opinions. Uh, hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to stay up to date on what our content is. What content is coming out. And in the description down below, we have a transitioning video explaining um, where this channel is going in the near future. So check that out if you don't know yet. Uh, this has been Omni's Eat. Have a wonderful day. Bye.